What's going on guys? I'm back. I'm just chilling with this plate of fudge here. This is what I'm going to show you how to make your own high protein chocolate peanut butter fudge. Only two grams of carbs per piece of fudge, four grams of protein, three grams of fat. Macro friendly, easy to fit into your diet on a cut. And if you like these recipes, be sure to check out my fitness cookbook. It's down below in the description at michaelcorey.com. It's the only fitness cookbook you need, I think. So check it out and I hope you guys enjoy the video. So starting out this fudge recipe, guys, I've got most of the ingredients right here. What we're gonna do right now is take three scoops of some chocolate whey protein powder or vanilla, if you wanna use vanilla, that is fine too, and kinda customize this however you want. Put the three scoops into a bowl, and then we're gonna go with four tablespoons of unsweetened baking cocoa, three tablespoons of any sweetener of your choice, followed by two tablespoons of flour. I've just got some whole wheat flour right here. Add that into the bowl. Next up, we will go with a pinch of salt. And the last dry ingredient will be four tablespoons of powdered peanut butter. This stuff is great to keep the fat macros in check when you're cooking with peanut butter, especially for me right now when I'm on this cut. So four tablespoons into the bowl. So these are all the dry ingredients. We will give those a quick mix. And the wet ingredients I have right here the first one is going to be a quarter of a cup of whiskey. I'm just kidding. This is some sugar-free pancake syrup right into the bowl. In this container, I have two tablespoons of some melted coconut oil. And then we're gonna add in a quarter of a cup of some peanut butter. I soften this in the microwave so it's easier to mix. And I'm using the chunky kind today because those little chunks in there, the peanuts, gonna taste great in the fudge. And now we're gonna mix the ingredients in the bowl. now is just kind of mix it together and this dough should form and it should stick together with your hands right here and we've got our baking pan right here it's lined with some parchment paper and we're just gonna put this on top of the parchment paper and press it down so I added the chocolate chips to mine and now what we're gonna do is put this in the freezer for about 45 minutes to an hour and then it should be good to eat so these are fresh out of the freezer, and from here, very, very easy, guys. Look at this, we have our block of protein fudge. All you're gonna do is take a knife and cut this into as many squares as you would like. Obviously, the macro change, you make the square smaller, it's, it's whatever, but you can just kind of plug that in on my fitness pal and figure it out whatever you want. So I cut mine into a five by five block, guys, and check out the close up. You got the chunky peanut butter with the chocolate chips on top. Just a very, very simple fudge recipe here. Great grab and go snack. And I recommend keeping these in the freezer just so they hold their shape, or you can keep them in the refrigerator, but I think they will taste a little bit better frozen, but that's just me. All in all, this is a great recipe, and be sure to try it out. If you like the recipe and you're still sticking around, don't be shy. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below. I really do appreciate the likes, guys. That is how the channel spreads. Spread it like wildfire. Throw the fudge at everyone and just hit the like button. <laughs> I appreciate it as always. Uh, but that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll talk to you later.